Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And it is a Friday. Welcome to the pre-weekend. Welcome, cats. Uh, we have two. It's Atari 8-bit day today. And we have two games we're going to be playing. Both of them are flying shooting games. And they're both very fun. Uh, the first one is Scramble. <clears throat> and I have the actual box for it as well. So we'll be doing a kind of unboxing at the same time because we've never officially played this on the show. We did, well, Tanya played it when we had uh, Atari Age Day. Well, that doesn't count. It doesn't count because I did Tanya playing games play doesn't count. No, it doesn't. Because I didn't even get to play it. <laughs> um, uh, and we're also going to be playing Time Pilot for the Atari 8-bit system as well, of which I do not have the cartridge, but... A cartridge does exist for it. Um, yeah, so thank you everybody for joining us and also the Twitch subscribers for supporting us, of which are scrolling down beside Darcy, and their names are 8 Bit Swami, Alan the Fur, Arms Guard, Coda, <coughs> Atari HBR, BR, Polka, Buck Owens, Canadian Tenor. Your name has not been on the list for a couple of weeks, or at least a week. Uh, Buck Owens, Canadian Tenor. My phone. <laughs> I was like, hmm, it might be that time where I have to press the button. Might be. And then it'll show up two days later. Um, Charles and Chuck, Charles Whelan. I figured it out. Really? So it's going to pop up? Should. Okay. Tribe 5, Crossbow, Dan ABC, Dr. Moo Cows, Great Offender, Gretams, Ground Troop Orger, Rapper, Jedekai, Johnny WC, Carl G, Kev Kelly, Croco, Mark Spacing, Metal Atari, Mick Muse, Mike Saul, Mike Littow, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Zarno, Wood, Mr. Fix, Pack Rat, VG Cog, RC70, Ranger, Ghost, Reg Repentless VG, Retro Salary Man, Ricardo Pim, Six Sweets, Smitty B, Spice, Where S. Ramirez, The D Train, Welshman89, Tiki Dan K, Trek MD, VHZC, X Ken X, and Zebchi. And Will, Darcy. Get it in time. It went in or, time. Or now. <laughs> I, it, it's official, but it's just... It's not, I don't know. I thought I figured it out, but apparently... Maybe not. Oh, did you do it already? I did it. Uh, it's, it's, it's really weird. Whenever Tanya does it, or you do it, it just... It takes days. And it's so weird. But everybody else is like, boom, instantly. And, and Tanya suspects it's because it's from here. Like, it somehow knows that... It's okay. from inside the room, <laughs> but I doubt it. Um, if you want to support the show and get your name listed there, just click subscribe. And it's free if you have Amazon Prime. Just link it to your Twitch account. Um, and I want to thank all the people. Rage reset. <laughs> Rage. I want to thank all the people who have joined us in the chat. Danny VC, Crossbow, Vitoko, Al Nefer, uh, Armscar Coder, uh, and everyone else who is lurking. Welcome to the show. Uh, we actually have a poll question today. I think it's fairly interesting. Uh, because we'll I it's it. treat time. Yum, 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 oh, yum. Oh, Patoko. Look at those cats. <laughs> They're always like, where's that bell coming from? <laughs> they look around in a daze. It's so funny. Oh, you're going to do it? Yay. Oh, it got reset the chat. That's so weird. Buddy, you got to hit that button. You know. Don't. Don't act like you don't know. Make a ding. Make a ding. Ding it. Ding, ding the button. That, ding that bell. <laughs> he pressed the button, but it didn't ding. Try harder. It's too close to him. Try it again. Do it again. Yay! You thank you, Vitoko, for feeding the cats. They're, actually, they're thanking you. They're thanking you. Yeah. yeah. In their own way. By eating the treats. <laughs> Um, uh, we don't, oh yeah, I was going to do the poll. Um, so let me get that set up. I don't make think. Make a ding. Make a ding, dum-dum. <laughs> <laughs> That's not going to encourage them. It's there just, we go. It seems to have. So, the, po <laughs> the poll is, how do you determine the line between retro and modern? Uh, do you think it's a specific. Uh, Monster 3D card. Monster 3D card. That was for consoles. Sorry. Consoles. Consoles only. How many of these do they get? Uh, maybe one more. Um, do you just buy a specific date or era, like the 1980s, and that's the cutoff, the or it's like 1983 or something? Hey, buddy. Now I see uh, your bell. That's how it works. Is it by a specific storage medium, such as cartridge? <clears throat> 
and when they switch to optical is that modern or if they switched to the option of downloading and digital is that modern um do you determine it by i'm not asking what you determine it i'm just saying the method of which you determine it um so you can you can say your answer as well um when they switch from 2d to 3d graphics um like nintendo 64 from snes <laughs> honestly this requires more classification now i've got a lot of things here um bits is it when they went to 8 bits versus 16 bits is it a specific generation that but you made you go no nah, no that's modern like second versus third because if you look like Everybody, I think, can agree the Atari 2600 is retro. Mm -hmm. And everybody can agree that a console that's being sold right now is modern, like PS5. Mm -hmm. Like, but <clears throat> somewhere in between, everybody has a, like, uh, yeah, that's retro. Or the uh, uh, last generation yeah. PS4 is still modern to me. Um, and the last one, is it a rolling date or generation? where it's always progressing, where it's like, oh, 10 years and older is retro, or two generations and older is retro, and it's always, the definition is always changing. So, the, 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 here's the thing. So, so Jared, this Charles relates, Whelan says it's already always relative, so therefore his is always rolling and moving. Uh, he is 100% correct, except that I think I interpreted what he's saying uh, a little differently. It's yeah. relative, but you have to, like... It's like moment by moment, like it's like it's it, it, you can Today, you can say yeah. you can say oh if it's ten years old you can make a draw line in the sand but that doesn't that doesn't hit the button because the button is retro is I think it's rolling when do you feel yeah you you hear of a thing and you think that's retro that's old. that's retro yeah yeah and like or when you what hear, that oh. is changes because like like a movie that was made in two thousand a movie that was made in two thousand two is that old. It depends. <laughs> oh, Sorry, a TV show or movie. Right. Is it Firefly? If it's Firefly, that's not old. In my brain, Firefly <laughs> is still new and fresh. Right. And there's no excuse for it to be so, but it is. It just is. Exactly, yeah. And uh, another show filmed then, like, uh, take... Um, right around that time was Star Trek uh, Enterprise. Right. And I don't I don't think of it as old. Yeah. But, but it's not new. It's yeah. a middle ground, maybe? Where yeah. it's like iffy. I guess there could be an iffy. I don't know. I think maybe I feel like... Darcy's a fellow brown coat. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like... <laughs> I feel like that was a bad example because it kind of doesn't feel old to me. Right. It, yeah, one. there there is subjectivity. Of course. You watch and, that show and, and you asking, don't think, oh, that's old. That's yeah, old. And I'm definitely not going, oh, what is the <laughs> definition? It's what your definition is. What's your definition? It's not the yeah, general yeah. definition. And so it's re that's really hard because I like to it be is. able to say, like your list, normally I look at it and go, yeah, it's this or that. <laughs> and you missed a thing because it's really this. And, that's right. and like, this is like way more woo to and, me. Yeah, it is. It's very subjective. And it's and it's hard to, <clears throat> like, what is missing? I, d I don't know. I think that the, the thing that hits it closest for me yeah. Are the the number two, three, and four? I, I I number five. It could, but like like the storage medium and the graphics and yeah. whether it's eight bit or sixteen bit, those were like, in particular the graphics. So whether it's two D, a yes. three uh, D versus eight bit, sixteen bit. Yeah. Um, I think two D is those definitely are, retro. Those are real. Those are real lines <laughs> like, like, like oh, I, yeah. I said, hard lines hard lines I, yeah. I i this is not this is not consoles but it sort of is it like can, monster can 3d card like so yeah. that was a real line like i remember mm -hmm. like the line could also be um uh oh my god what, what's the well, what's the what's the game uh oh doom not doom. quake quake yeah that was so a quake. Big game changer. so quake came out and it was a huge difference yeah. but before the the 3D cards came out, before stuff. the 3D cards came out, it was like, it was really neat, but it just looked like a bunch of blurry <laughs> mush on the screen. And then the 3D card came out, and yeah. the irony was that all the 3D cards seemed to do was mush the textures and smear them, and so that the actual, anyways, blah blah blah. Yeah, Vidoko is like retro. It's huge. not being manufactured, therefore it's old. You cannot. They're not making new games for it. They've left it in the dust. 
they're not making new consoles. That's an, a very good argument. You can have that. Yeah, yeah. I can't answer this. I Retro mean, is a style, not a date yeah. time generation. I think that yeah. I, I, I like the line of it's not being made anymore, but it's yeah. not good enough. <laughs> no, it's it's not. It's not good enough because that it's, can happen real quick. Like it's a mix of all these things yeah. a little bit. Like storage medium, anything you can download digital is, I think, definitely modern. It definitely that stuff definitely feels modern yeah to me. but you could download digital atari 2600 games so over the phone line but like take half-life 2 half-life 2 yeah i played it again recently yeah and it doesn't like it still it doesn't feel old no it doesn't feel old it has modern sensibilities yeah, I mean, right? there are, it, it doesn't have all Which the is, things your character is allowed to do, like their abilities are. Which is what Spl are Splendid the, the is talking difference. about. It's a style. It's a yeah. feeling of what the game is, and Half Life Two yeah. feels like the a new generation first person shooters. They're still making those types of games. Are they making games like fixed single screen space shooters? No, that's old. It's done. Yeah, and nobody so like, cares for instance, about it like, anymore. Fission Superstar X yeah. is, and Noita are both very, retro, very retro feel. They're retro yeah. because they're made to look like they're retro style because they're made yeah. to look like games that aren't made yeah. anymore so and wouldn't be made if it wasn't for if it wasn't for trying to make them look like that. They would be made differently. Yeah. So I mean, Noita for sure, you could say. cannot run on anything. No, <laughs> old. but like its look, it's like. But it could if they just scaled it down. It has an eight-bit look, but not eight-bit yeah. uh, sensibility. Charles Whelan <laughs> says, "So 2600 is modern since there's tons of new games." Uh, yeah, <laughs> there's probably more 2600 games being made in 2021, which is like almost 150, compared to like GameCube. <laughs> GameCube, I'm sure does not have 150 games being made every year, year for it. It's just not going to happen. Or the N64. Or tons of those middle uh, uh, consoles. It's just not happening, right? So it's it's yeah. a big it's a big mix. Yeah. Does Darcy need treat time for his nuts? Oh, uh, the <laughs> fairy time. schedule. Ding, ding, ding. The fairy schedule has <laughs> changed. It, it, the fairy that I take, because I live on Vancouver Island. And I come every couple of weeks. Anyways, yeah. so the ferry I take, it used to leave at 8.45 in the morning, and now it leaves at 8.25. So I get here 20 minutes earlier. Hooray! And so I manage to stuff most of... They're gone. They're not all gone. There's still a few in there. Yeah, a couple. Uh, I managed to, to to consume the nuts early enough that I didn't have to be super rude on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why they're saying, oh, you haven't eaten any of your nuts. You need some treat time. <laughs> <laughs> ding, 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 ding. That would be cruel to ding that bell. So it would be <laughs> well. It wouldn't be cats... cruel. We would just have to. We'd have to pay them. <laughs> yeah, at least one treat. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so the first game we're going to be playing is a uh, scramble, and we're going to go over it quickly in terms of showing you what it is because we have played the twenty six hundred version. We played the seventy eight hundred version on the show. They're both incredible. So we'll quickly show you uh, YouTube footage of. Uh, Scramble, uh, which is uh, a super awesome game. And I actually played it in the arcade last Saturday. Um, because I was like, oh, they, they have Scramble here. It's a local arcade in the US, uh, Capital City Arcade. And uh, this guy's on the Is that the game we were just playing? <laughs> yeah, but it's on the 7800. You guys have played this a lot, right? Yes, because it's awesome. Mm -hmm. Like, right. we've played it for various reasons, too. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm not objecting. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's very simple. Uh, it's actually a very quick game to get through, because there's only five levels, and they're fairly fairly fast. Um, the last level is the hardest, as it should be. And that's where I died in the arcade. It's going through those really 90-degree angle... Uh, interior mazes walls um uh, the other hard part is um the fireballs coming at you this, this is challenging but this guy's not very good because <laughs> um, <laughs> they go up and down to the whole screen my favorite thing is that by blowing up fuel you somehow get it <laughs> like it's a you blow it up and it vapor yeah and, and you, you just you don't need much fuel like one of those things would fuel you for like oh eternity yeah, yeah. but like you blow it up and just a little mist sucks into the 
It's it's like those <laughs> jets that dock, except yeah. this one doesn't need to dock. It just gets it from the atmosphere. <laughs> but somehow, getting it from the atmosphere from a blown up fuel tank. Yeah. So. Well, you blow you're it up. Destroying it's, the fuel. You're blowing it up, but your bombs don't have any fire, so the fuel doesn't catch fire. Just that's true. Look at it. It's just a, it kind of a physical it, explosion. Yeah, it's a physical, it's not a chemical explosion. Yeah. So it doesn't actually catch fire. No. Um, so scramble. We solved it. Yep. Is a side-scrolling shooter game released in the arcades in 1981. Uh, it was developed by Konami and manufactured and distributed by Lidjack uh, in Japan and Stern in North America. It was the first side-scrolling shooter with forced scrolling and multiple distinct levels. So it was a revolutionary game. Forced uh, scrolling. Def Defender is a different... Def okay, it's that's not forced scrolling. Okay. And does so, have multiple levels. Is that one where you have guys you pick up or drop off or something? Uh, Defender is... The aliens steal the guys, and you have to catch them right. and return them to the ground. Right, yeah. okay. Yeah. And, but, and but it doesn't you, scroll unless you go there. Yeah. But so can you go back on it? Yep, yep, you can go both ways, which is probably uh, revolutionary for Defender as well. Um, and it has multiple distinct levels. It wasn't a continuous, like, like you can see it, you're on the third, fourth, fifth level. Yeah, yeah. But they're continuous, which is also interesting. Um, because, say, you know, like Galaga, a shooter, mm -hmm. it stops when you're finished a level, then starts the next level. Yeah. This just keeps going, which is amazing. This is like you've reached uh, level 10 and you have to leave uh, Stormland and <laughs> head over to, what, I can't remember where. What is this? West in? something. <laughs> World of Warcraft. Oh, okay. <laughs> sure. You have to walk there. It's a level change. It's a, you know, it's a screen change, but you gotta walk. Oh. Yeah. Uh, and it serves as a foundation for later side scrolling shooters. Uh, it's Konami's first major worldwide hit in the U.S. It sold 15,000 arcade cabinets with five, within five months. It became Stern's second best-selling game. Scramble was not ported to any major contemporary consoles or computers. It was ported to the Vectrex and a computer called Tommy Tutor, which I oh never, Tommy Tutor, Tommy Tutor. I think Tommy. It may be Tommy. I can't remember. But did Tommy, you, you Tommy. have seen it because I watched it. No, no, I saw it on your screen. Uh, on a YouTube video. One really? of the guys you watch. Oh. He, yeah, and it was like a British thing or something. Oh. It was like I their forgot. like Trash 80 or something like oh, that. I can't okay. remember. I could be wrong th about, it, about the details, but we did see it. Okay. It, very, not very well known computer at least. Yeah. Um, so this is why... Apart from the people that know it and they know it. <laughs> they know it like 100%. It's really well. binary. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why... It has been have to been ported for the 2600, 7800, and now 8-bit uh, systems. 8-bit guy did a video about Tommy Tudor. Uh, that's probably where I that's, saw it. Yeah, yep. that's it was 8-bit guy. Yeah. Maybe the fuel yeah. is uh, helium three, which actually isn't flammable, but is much less dense than the actual atmosphere. And as a result, when capturing a fuel tank, H 3 is released and captured in this manner. Oh, less dense, rises up. You can capture it, not flammable. There you go. Crossbow solved it. It's uh, Helium 3. That's what we said, Crossbow. <laughs> you just expanded on it. <laughs> anyway, he, uh, he won the game. <laughs> you did. <laughs> did he win? I you think added, he won. like, added most much. of the value. <laughs> <laughs> we actually put science behind you it. actually we put just, some value into the we idea. We just guessed. <laughs> yeah. Adding some science. There you go. Um... So let's uh, take a look at the boxed version of it. Um, beautiful cover there. And this is by uh, Paul Lay and Harvey Kong Tin. Um, it says copyright 2019, but I believe that's when the 5200 version of it came out. And this is the 8-bit version of it, which they converted from the 5200. unbox it. I have to listen to the wizards here at the tower all the time so I pick up on some stuff <laughs> uh, sometimes. Yeah, he's at the ivory tower. That's his workshop. And no creases. Beautiful. Can't say that for all of them, but for this one. And it matches the front cover. There we go. Very nice. And it's a uh, kind of smoky see-through, which is oh, yeah. super awesome. I gotta show you this. 
cartridges. I love. That's handy if your cartridge cartridges. shows up and there's something rattling inside. You'd be able to look in there and see what. It yes, is. which which reminds me, I do have a rattly cartridge. Yeah, that's what I was referring to. <laughs> Where is it? Right there, the orange one. No, 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 no. Oh, it's here. I should ask some people about it. I'll ask in a bit. Um, so you can see it's uh, nice and smoky. You can actually see scramble there if it actually focused on it. Come on. There we go. Oh, it worked. Kind of. Maybe. There we go. There's the cartridge. Focus. That's it. There we go. Belittle the camera. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> It'll listen. <laughs> It'll pay attention. Um, yeah, because I got, I bought this cartridge um, just a little while ago, Load Runner. Because it's a fun game. Um, but it showed up, and I tried to play it, and it did rattle when I got it. That's right, yeah. Because I and opened I, it up on the show. And you went like this, and I said, what are you doing? <laughs> don't, don't, do <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. Well, irregardless, <laughs> I think the thing inside's important. Mm -hmm. You can hear it. Because uh, it doesn't work. Yeah. And I was very upset. Or disappointed, not did upset. Did you open it yet? Uh, no, because you have to destroy the cover. Because there's a screw right under the... Well, you're under right. Keep the cover intact so that your <laughs> cartridge doesn't work. Are you going to get your money back? I, I did. I did. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So, so now the, you can the destroy it? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Cause... And you can give him half his money back again <laughs> if you get it to work? Uh, no. 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 Um, <laughs> so I was wondering what, what could be broken off on a cartridge inside. And is it possible to fix it? I highly doubt it. But we should definitely save the label to make sure <laughs> that we don't destroy the label and but never find out. There are ways you can get labels off, like with a hairdryer and stuff. Uh, so yeah. I probably I will open it up because it's it's right now it's a piece of plastic. Yeah, that does nothing. Well, and there's no way I'm going to be little, like it does something. It it can be rhythmically used in songs. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just at, if I insert it at the right angle, it seems to work. Uh this doesn't seem to work. We can give it a try right now. Uh, let's go. It's for the... 8-bit. 8-bit. Yeah. Oh, this ABG card is so tight. Oh, yeah, it does work. I, but it doesn't at the same time. It starts it to might, work? It might give a hint to what what is wrong with it. So it looks like this. It looks... It's playable, just not fun <laughs> to look at this kind of reddish, orangey kind of... And you know it's not supposed to look like this? Oh, no, no, no. Because I've looked at videos and this looks And those guys terrible. with those stripes on them, that's not, a, that's not intended? That is normal. It's not... It's normal. Try it through composite. I don't have composite hooked up. Or do I? Oh, I do have composite hooked up. Um, this is normal? You're joking. Uh, it says it uses the artifacting. It needs the artifacting from the CRT. Really? Okay. Let's go to... So you're going to have to pay them their money back again. I will. <laughs> so this is composite. <laughs> this is the normal look of it? That does, that look, does look as more color. full. Like you don't have the stripey heads. Maybe I have to pay this guy back. It's, it looks terrible. It looks atrocious. Like this is this is what it looks like. You I don't remember. have to see it, but like the pinball. You played this on uh, That's a better? Commodore. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've played yeah, this you on love Commodore. This game. What, wasn't it called Jumpman? No, 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 no. It's not called Jumpman. Needs a CRT. This game needs a CRT to play it. It uses artifacting. That's really interesting. That it relies on graphical tricks to get its color. That's clever. That, that is clever. I mean, I shouldn't be playing this, but... <laughs> it's a fun game. <laughs> Come on down, guys. I think you might like this game. Uh, just a bit. I'm just going to fi finish the first level. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, he's coming. Who? That guy. Guy. He died, so he restarted at the top. All right, there we go. Huh? 
So I should plug this into a CRT and check out what it looks like. And therefore it's going to be good. Okay. That is, uh, that is. Anyway, let's plug in this. That scramble. is funny Just that it needs. <laughs> the 2600 version looks better than this as thrust. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Your modern TV is trying to be helpful. It <laughs> says when it is. It is. It is trying to be helpful. Let's see if Scramble looks bad. No. <laughs> looks awesome. Looks awesome. Oh, so this is. Okay. This is. Yeah. I didn't know we <laughs> were playing confusing. on the. Uh, on yeah. uh, on the computer. On the computer. Atari yeah, computer. I didn't, I didn't know what we were doing on the 8-bit. So. Apparently, I don't listen. <laughs> At all. You, you said it during the show, right? Another, He's just talking, and I'm all like, ooh, shiny. Another thing, you have UAV on that 800 XL. That is correct. On the eight on the 8 bits, the actual trimmer on the UAV affects the artifacting phasing, hence colors. Artifacting phasing. Oh. So, that means I can... So are with you the UAV? saying that like if the UAV was plugged in while uh, UAV is a, a, a chip that helps the graphics, but like if outputs if, S video, if it was plugged in when Load Runner Runner was running, Load Runner would look different. Is that what you're saying? It it like okay. um, it affects. It means there's more adjustment than just color trimmer on the computer. So I can fix it or I cannot. The animation reminds me of Tower of Revel. Yeah. Uh, are cartridges more popular for 8-bit computers today when they were back in the old days? That's a good question. They I don't know. They were not very popular back then. Like, cartridges for computers was like, Nothing. why, you would, sorry, you bought a game? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> we were We were way too, uh, that would we would have played no games if we had to buy them. No. Very few. Just, maybe a couple. Very few. And we yes. trade them. Um, yeah. <laughs> Discs were easy, cheaper to manufacture, faster to manufacture. Um, you could write to them if you had to save your game. Yeah, they were just better overall, so yeah. that's why they did them. Even, even, even my Trash Eighty, like they were on a tape, tape yeah. drive and tape, and, and you would you, you would get games by taking the tape that someone gave you <laughs> and like f speed dubbing it <laughs> yes. and then handing them their copy back, and then sure you'd lose one or two of the sixty games on the. On the tape, because <laughs> of the long play tape. <laughs> yeah, uh, but... it's an extra jumper that will invert the artifacting effect and create additional shades there. Oh, thank you, crossbow. Small blue trimmer on the UAV. Had... But the UAV isn't plugged in when you're using it's... the cartridge, right? Because it is it, the cartridge. No, isn't no, it? no, no. Or you... is that that box? No, UAV is a graphics um, add-on that allows it to output S video and uh oh composite okay. as well it's gotcha it, it runs through it and does processing on it um <clears throat> anyway it's it's um it's a mod a video mod for it yeah yeah interesting Pixel missing from the y uh they are just darker i'm just sec here oh not anymore when it was blue it was actually just darker uh, uh, uh but it wasn't that y it was on the main screen it'll get there Come on. And look at the eight. Yep, the eight and See the copyright. See the Y in system? It uh, seems yep. to be... And the, and the U? Yeah, there's... Yep. Oh, look at the eight now. It's actually there, oh, but it's... it's dim. Yeah. Very dim. Even there, it's dim. But why is that Y a different Y? Why? Why? Why, why are know. the Ys different? Okay, play. And I will talk. So you can stop staring at the screen. <laughs> Press this button. Yep. Okay, oh! Those were all the options. <laughs> oh. No options for me. Nope. Okay, the second button drops bombs. No, it doesn't. Okay. Uh, there is no second you. button on 8-bit. Uh, you are screwed because you have no bombs. Uh, okay. I think we need to go back to the options. <laughs> uh, it probably says you don't need to shoot fuel. Uh, we just assume that you'll bomb fuel. I'm confident that that's what it says. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Oh, I'm dead, so it doesn't matter. Completely dead? No. No. I need to go to control. The ship looks cool. Yeah, very, very cool. What? 
Rockets, right, over fast. You can't land one. in this game. Missiles I'm... or both. Yeah, we need Words to. Words of the wise, don't try to land, you can't. Or we can plug in a Genesis controller, which I don't want to play with, because I like joysticks better. So I'm going to go for both when we do it. Uh, it is a replacement video encoder installed oh, in the circuit along with the 4050. See, Crossbow can say it better than me because that's what he does all day long. He installs um, video uh, replacement video encoders. Okay, start again, but you need to do the options. You have to start twice. No, it's not couch compliant. Oh. Do you want lots of lives? No. Yes? Depends how much pain do you want to feel each time I try to play the game. <laughs> this is the up to normal, up to normal, normal. Uh, sixty percent more pain. We'll go normal. Normal for everything. Difficulty normal. Tunnels normal. Ship size normal. Rockets normal. Auto fire. Put auto fire on. So you can hold it down. Did you have to press it to? Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. I don't know what is the options for oh, the maybe arcade. Fast. Does fast mean that I have to press the button fast for it to auto fire? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think that means what it means. All right. Oh, yeah, I get my bombs to drop. Yay. You only get two at a time, so you do have to time them out if you want to drop them purposefully on target. Got uh, I uh, got one of the fields. Okay, so... Invade the Scramble fuel. system. Yeah, suck it, fuel. The evil... Gather up that helium. Grottering <laughs> Empire is planning launching a devastating attack on planet Earth. Earth's only hope is to infiltrate and destroy the Grottering High Command at their base, hidden deep within their home planet. However, intelligence reports that the Grottering home base is protected by the Scramble defense system. So you aren't Scramble, you're fighting against Scramble. That's their defense system. A defense system so powerful that it is unsurpassed by any other weapon in the galaxy. Well, and again, cannot stress this enough, don't try to land. Work. <laughs> no, there's no landing in this game. Uh, you have enough fuel to just get you there and pick some up on the way. There's no landing. Uh, at least that's what the rumors say because no one who has investigated has returned alive. As Earth's last remaining pilot, you must guide your Tempest-class starship through the six sectors of Scramble Defense System to reach the Grottering home base. Grottering, what a strange word. Destroy the Grottering base, and Earth will be saved. Fail, and, well, let's just say there's no plan B. Oh. All of Earth's hopes rest on you as you Also, explode. those asteroid things, they kill you if you touch them. Oh. Don't touch them. I will give you a hint. Oh. Stay low, because they don't go below the top oh. of the mountains. You have to get there first. Oh, don't land. <laughs> don't land either. Don't land. Landing doesn't it doesn't it doesn't work any better now, even when there's asteroids coming in. Even when the obvious smart thing to do is well, find a harbor and wait for the asteroid storm to end. <laughs> True. They're continual. No landing for you. You get to play again because you did better. Uh, as Earth's last remaining uh, Starship pilot, it's up to you to successfully navigate the Scramble Defense System and, and destroy. And there's nothing to lose because you're the last Earthling. That, that's true. Or at least the it's last It's not the last ship. Earthling pilot. But. As Earth's, Earth's last remaining Starship pilot. So there are And if anybody people. talks shit, you just use your ship to blow them up. So you can... Because <laughs> they have no ships yeah, to uh, so like you got the go last after one. you. So yeah. like you don't have to stand for any of their back talk. No. No. Not at all. Just go. I have the ship, and you do not. Scramble is div divided into six different sections, sectors, each with its own unique combination of defenses. So those uh, things firing at you, um, flameoids, are actually part of their defense system. <laughs> so you made it to part three, round three. Dan ABC says it looks good. Yeah, it looks amazing. Very good at this game. Everyone, everyone says it. <laughs> everyone in this room that has said it says has it. said it. <laughs> uh, difficulty normal or easy? The normal difficulty is about the same as the arcade game. It is recommended for experienced players. Easy reduces the level, uh, difficulty level significantly and is suitable for beginners. Who died? Stay low, but not too low. What I would do is go forward so you can back up if yeah, necessary. I wasn't uh, entirely aware that uh, I could go forward. Oh, okay. I mean, even though I <laughs> was obviously doing it, I was obviously doing it at times, but 
Yeah. Tunnel. Ah. Oh, oh, you landed. For me. You landed. Unexpected landing. Tunnels, normal or wide, determines the height of the tunnels found in the scramble system. Ship size, normal or small. Selecting a small option will shrink the size of your ship, making it easier to uh, deploy defenses and maneuver through tunnels. Rockets, normal or fast, determines how fast the rockets oh, fly no. once launched. Auto fire, off, fast or slow. Selecting fast or slow. Auto fire enables players. To what is happening? Some people are bad at games. I am one of them. <laughs> you can I'm do bad it. At this game. You can do it. Close. I'm good at fu fusion, fusion Superstar X. Well, just translate those abilities to this game. It's both flying. It's both 2D, right? Yeah. So, where's the issue? No! Oh! Oh. I'm just not good at flying through asteroid fields. <laughs> or flame ball fields, or whatever. Flame ball fields. Uh, flameoids. Uh, lives, obvious. Scroll, obvious. Um, ship control. As you might recall from your pilot training, the Tempest class starship, you didn't do better this time. You I did. I did. I did way better. You didn't pass the flameoids. No, but I got further through the flameoids. You can play again then. <laughs> um, pulling up or down on the control stick will cause the ship to climb or die if we're pushing the yes, yes. I don't think that level is a legitimate part of this game. Oh my goodness. What don't, just keep reading. <laughs> you don't need to comment on every time I die. Stupidly. It's it's funny, the, sh the, the ship's movement, its head kind of goes in and out. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, 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 uh, but it's spinning too. Yes. I don't know if that happens in the arcade where the front of the ship moves in and out. Um, targets. So the things going up are rockets. Rockets line the ground in most of the sectors of the scramble system. These simple weapons will fire upward at random intervals, so be on your guard. UFOs, the ones in the oh, the ones. What are in the those things? The um, things that aren't fuel and don't shoot at you. Grottering ground installations. These small enemy bases are found in all sectors throughout the scramble system. Although they do not pose any threat to your ship, unless you crash into them. They may be destroyed for extra points. The exact value of each ground installation is random. Mm. Uh, fuel depots scattered throughout the sector are fuel depots used by the Grottering Forces. Destroying these de depots is vital, as each one will restore some fuel to your own ship. No. Make sure you don't miss too many. It doesn't explain how destroying them gets the fuel to your ship in the manual. That's just unacceptable. Of course, a lot of... Uh, it's probably obvious to to um, people from. Oh yeah, it's commonplace. It's uh, it's a it's a strange way to refuel <laughs> your ship um, because you have to build a new fuel tank every time you destroy it. It's very very wasteful. <laughs> very wasteful. <laughs> Love the uh, changing colors of the backgrounds. Oh, we got a new ship. Good oh, job. Oh, that's important. at ten thousand. Uh, Grottering Home Base. Found only in Sector 6. The Grottering Home Base must be destroyed in order for you to complete the mission. So you're in Sector 1, you just went to Sector 2. Sector 1, the entrance to the scramble system. The terrain is made up of mountains of low and medium height and guarded by exclusively by rockets. Ooh, Keep an eye out for enemy like, ground. It takes skill to, like, miss all of those guys. <laughs> At the UFOs? As many as I miss, anyways. Well, you do have fast shots, which I don't think is arcade. Well, I think they have nobody cares. In the nobody cares about that. <laughs> I think I may set it to slow. Oh, oh! I'm definitely not following the follow the ground thing anymore because I think it makes me a worse gamer. Oh, okay. I mean, there's enough room to maneuver. It's just a lot more uh, work. Oh, 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 oh! Goodness! <laughs> oh, brown shorts time. <laughs> Remember your fuel. Uh, sector 2, a bit further into the scramble system, you'll now enter a series I of I have to caverns. blow stuff up and not die? Well, you just have to hold down the button. Yeah, that's true. All right, I didn't do better that time, so. Okay. As UFOs are trickier to take out than you might think. They... Yeah, no, I was saying that uh, I think they're tricky to take out. I see. What you're saying is they're objectively tricky to take out. <laughs> I thought it was just I had a special skill at missing them. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to put on slow, because... I like to practice for arcade level difficulty. Yeah. 
<laughs> and if you skim along the bottom, you can take out a bunch of stuff before I was doing you that. get to it. Did you? This okay. non, you know, UFO uh, flam unit uh, part, I was. Oh, I don't know about kicking ass. I died an awful lot of times that competent. last game. Less incompetent. Less incompetent. That's the boast you'll give yourself. Um, so when I was playing in the arcade on uh, last Saturday, I did make it to the last the last section. I didn't make it up to where you destroy their uh, their thing you're supposed to destroy, whatever it's called. But I was very, very, very close. I was in the last bit of tunnel. So I was quite disappointed I didn't make it um, to that. Very interesting. So the bombs can only blow up one thing? Uh, yes. Even if they land where... It seems like it would be right between two things, like smack dab in the middle. Yeah, it's kind of weird that way. It's, it's false. The, the it's explosions are, are not, uh, not very They're big. not explosions. <clears throat> They're more like destruction. Well, it's like, this is not ah. to scale. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, that's a big fuel. Oh, my God. Oh, you totally darcyed that one. I did. It's harder than the arcade. I don't think I died in the arcade on this level. Why do I have this booklet in my hand? You're supposed to read uh, level three information. One where I'm at. Level sector three? Sector three. So on the next page, okay. Sector three. Things are beginning to heat up now. Literally. Oh, the scramble oh, system oh. is now sh shoot indestructible. F the scramble system will now shoot indestructible flamoids at you in an attempt to down your ship. Fly low to the ground to stay out of harm's way, but make sure you keep your fuel gauge full as the system is using all its power to create flamoids. There are no rockets or UFOs in this sector. Well, they're there, but they don't try to kill you. On to the next level. <clears throat> next sector. High mountain walls and multiple rockets are the hallmarks of Sector 4. Since there is little room to maneuver, make sure that you destroy every rocket you see or this sector will, be sh will surely be your last. Oh, I don't want it to be my last. Surely. Um, call me Shirley. Call me Shirley. Call me Shirley. The I think I've given myself more ships than the arcade does. I'll just have to deal with it. Just have to deal with the shame. Yep, the shame of cheating. Don't try to land. Uh, no Don't try deal. to land on the ceiling either. It's not any. Oh so God! Much fuel. Hurry so up! Much fuel. Shoot! Shoot faster! Ah, uh, go up, go up, go up. Uh, it was not shooting fast enough. Maybe I shouldn't, I should, like, manually shoot. Oh, that's much faster. Just for this part. You gotta go back, yeah. And then go forward as fast as possible. Again. And Try up, and get to back. the limit. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness! Oh, it's very tight, by the way. Yeah. This is where I died in the arcade, right there. Oh my god! I usually died before that part, but... <laughs> I thought you meant that exact corner. No, not I was exactly. like, what? Just the maybe, corner before maybe it. Maybe spend less time telling us where <laughs> you died and more time not dying in that spot. Back, back, back! True. I was supposed to ah! be... Ah! No One more life. Oh wait, you're in Sector 5. The home stretch. This sector of the scramble system consists of tight cave passages that require careful timing to navigate. Go too fast or too slow, and you'll never have enough time to maneuver through these twisty passageways. Only the most skilled pilots will be able to make it through alive. Scouts report that there are no other defenses in Sector 5. Just, like, tons and tons of fuel. Just lots of fuel. <laughs> it's where they store the fuel. They store it right in the path. <laughs> right in your way. Uh, <laughs> this is it. Sector 6. Uh, is the location of the grotting home base, so drop... You're not in Sector 6, you're at Sector 1, right? Uh, now I am. Okay, good job. You went through Sector 6, sector six so fast, I missed it. <laughs> yeah, you, uh, it was so easy. Uh, I'm gonna wait until you get to Sector 6 again, and then I'll read it. Okay. I don't want you to be distracted by information that is irrelevant to you. True. It's 
to the plan. Yo! I don't know if in the higher levels the rockets also go up in the UFO area here. Because there are rockets, but they don't take off and try and get you. I bet they do. I uh, know it says that they that there are no rockets. Wait, uh, dormant. Uh, it only said that in this. Thank you for following, person. Can you read out who followed? It says B Tigris. Oh my God. V Tigris. Thank you for enjoying the content, the gaming, our our expertise play gaming. <laughs> I, I know that's why you're following. <laughs> I didn't do too bad. I made it to level 5. I wasted a life, though. But it was running into the walls, and it is hard to not run into the walls. They're very small. There is an option to make your ship smaller. But you don't want to do that. Yay! Watch out for the rockets. Yeah, I, I find if you go forward and kind of coax them into taking off, yeah, yeah. and then go backwards just a little bit, I'm like, oh... Oh, you're taking off? Well, I'm just going to shoot you. I don't know if auto fire is super handy. Oh god, well, you don't Oof. have to. That, that was lucky. No, I don't. It's a handy way of getting bombs to drop. Especially for me, I, I would always choose to have them drop every time I press the button. Yeah, why not? And I think that when I was playing in the arcade, I was just pressing both buttons at the same time. Because yeah. it's like, why not? No, I knew it. I knew it. I should have gone up a little bit more. No, don't do that. No. That's I told the wrong you don't try to, to do. land. Don't try to land. <laughs> yeah, landing is not advisable at this time. It's neat. Oh! Well, it's not on the ceiling either. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Just trying out all the options. You know, you never know. Yeah. I mean, I know you're in space. You can land on any surface. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Back, 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 back. I think it just ran. Oh no! Oh. I think it just randomly cycles through colors. Like, they don't seem to be corresponding with how far you've gone or anything. Oh, Jesus. Um, Help me! I think it is how far you go. Because, uh, but it just might not be the same. No, because you got further that time. I think that it changes as you move along. It's almost like a level change type thing. Like you made it a quarter of the way. Or something. Uh, it just cycles, I think. Maybe. Yeah. Because is it purple, orange? Let's see all the colors. It seemed to cycle at the same spot. Though. Green. Yeah. yeah. But no, I, I, I'm not. I'm less convinced now <laughs> than I was. I don't think. So. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that's the case. We could check it out because I will die it, it again. Happens too on level five. It happens too frequently to be um, what I thought it was, which was information that you've made it. You know, <laughs> so. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean. Because it's auto scrolling, it's definitely based on how if you've gone 100 meters or whatever. Because it's also time. And the timing is exactly the same as the scrolling. Come on. Yeah, you have to when you when you aren't hitting them, you have to stop your auto fire because it, because it means that your bullets are timed to miss them. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's true. That's that's what was happening. Well, if you're not moving, that is. Like, if you time up with them. Yeah, you can either uh, oh, you can either change you can either <laughs> reset your your trigger, yeah. or you can um, get more in line with them. Yeah, uh, move back and forth. Yeah, I was trying both of those. Ah, 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 ah! Don't forget to shoot. Oh yeah, fuel. <laughs> fuel, please. Luckily, when you shoot. Oh, oh God. Uh, when you shoot the fuel, it's like half. 
it fuels you up to half, so you only need really two of them. I actually, well, you actually have almost... This, this is definitely a successful strategy for you. For me, I was better off flying high. Yeah. Except for the fact that I could have run out of fuel if I didn't die first. <laughs> but because, because I was going button. to die, I didn't have to worry about fuel. <laughs> That's true. That's you true. only need fuel if you expect to make it back. <laughs> That's right. Otherwise, just fuel up your plane halfway and, you know, I'm, I was fly going light. I was going to do a little strategy. <laughs> your what strategy? Do a little strategy. Oh. That's that. I think, like at the be uh, beginning, well, in 1942, the response to Pearl Harbor was to send bombers to uh, Japan. Yeah. But they could only make it there, they couldn't make it back. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's a fun mission. Well, they had a plan to get the pilots back. <laughs> oh, they, not the ships. Yeah. Okay. Or, you like, can... maybe they could, I, can't, I think... I Why would they that do that? Because it was such a long distance and they didn't have the fuel to get there? They, they, they didn't launched have a base? from aircraft carriers, I think. Okay. But like they couldn't land them on aircraft carriers or something like that. Right. So there was no landing. Or they the couldn't, planes. like, it, it was just that they could get close enough to fly them in, but they couldn't get them close enough to have fuel to come back. Okay. Yep. Um, but they were going to parachute out. It was more important to hit back than it was to, like, live. <laughs> That's basically what it came down to. Right. Uh, and whether they were right or wrong, I, I, who can say? And did like, they do that, matters though? a lot. Oh, yeah, they, 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 Damn they, it. They, they went in there. They bombed and bombed. And why are there bricks in space? <laughs> well, uh, this because, is a planet. Like, they don't fix it if they ain't broke. Bricks do a great job of building uh, stuff. So well, they keep hitting them, so they're mission accomplished, <laughs> right? So why not continue to use bricks even in your space construction? I bet they'll use bricks on Mars. Ah! Uh, I guess I see it. Well, this is not really in space, though. It's no, gotta it's, be on, it's like, on a planet. On some sort of moon or with gravity asteroid or something. They had to put that all that regolith somewhere. What? <laughs> what is that? That's what the dirt on the moon is called. Oh, <laughs> specifically dirt on the know, moon. I don't know if it's specific to the moon or if it's ah. specifically a type of, uh, you know, soil or. Hooray. I don't know if it's because it's super desiccated God or what. God damn it! I had bout of lives anyway. Oh, I but wanted I to read Sector 6. saw no. Sector 6. Yeah, you saw it, but that's not good enough. You just don't get to know. Ah. Throw, don't throw that joystick to the TV I'm, set. I'm tempted to throw it somewhere. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't wreck joysticks. <laughs> I, I'd hit the couch, if, if anything. Because I paid for these joysticks, and they're very, very nice joysticks. Okay, I'm going to play it again. One more. If you don't mind. Yeah, yeah. I don't mind. I'm getting better. -ish. Definitely need more lives, not to screw up. I think you could make a game thrust that that um, uh, deals with the issue of bricks in space. It could be called Brick Ships. <laughs> brick Ships. Brick Ship, and it could be a ship made of bricks. And I don't know what it does. We could call it Shipping Bricks. Brick shipper, brick, sh brick shipper, <laughs> ship shipper, shipping bricks instead of shipping bricks. And it would just be a play on words. Brick shipper, ripping ships, Bricking ripping, ships. brick, 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 bricking ships. <laughs> uh, I don't know if the premise is solid. The premise isn't solid. It's it's definitely very like in jokey at this point. <laughs> <laughs> That's mostly what is got That's going what, for it. But you might be able to make it work. You might be able to make it work. Like I, it wouldn't be the first time that like the theme of something was merely just like <laughs> the two things rhymed, and so we made. A game. <laughs> That's right. We made a game or a movie or something because these two words rhymed, and we wanted. The to. title was so good, <laughs> we couldn't not make the the movie or game. They'll sell on the title alone. 
Hey, Render Ghost. Yes, it is excellent. And I... Oh, I'm happy to have helped by making this show be early. Yes. You know, <laughs> it was all... I was ready. I was primed. Darcy brought the nuts early. Yeah. Um, I had a bunch of them. I almost didn't remember to do the audio sync before the show, so... So the fact that our lips are matching what we're saying is just, that's just pure bonus. Pure bonus yeah. fortune. Oh, the poll is closed. Oh, well, we'll have to check I didn't it out. vote. But uh, I couldn't have voted. Yeah, you had your phone. You could have typed a number no. in the chat. No, I could have typed a number in, but I could not have voted. Because as I said, I don't know what my answer would be. Oh, okay. That's true. I could have put other as an option, but I wanted somebody, people to actually pick something. Well, instead of other, you could name Did it I make it there? Like, no. Uh, I did. No. Did no. I? No. Uh, in, uh, instead of other, it should be, all these other answers are stupid. <laughs> these do not All the options work. available are dumb. Dumb options. Yeah, I would have been chosen more than the other ones. A That's brick didn't making simulation, it. but it would have to be in space. Brick laying simulator? No, because that's just bricks, but we need... The complaint was, why are these? Why are there bricks in space? Because they need to construct things. Yes. Oh my god, I almost hit the ceiling. <laughs> Konami! Yay! Okay, I'll show you what you have to do. What was this. that? You have to go like this. Fly really close and go right up to the front of the screen. Mm -hmm. Or is that the thing I have to bomb? Oh, it is that thing. Oh my god, I missed it. And you almost ran out of fuel. I was like, oh, where's it coming? This is it. Sector 6 is the location of the Grottering home base. So drop your photon bombs and make sure you don't miss. This sector of the scramble system is very small, but contains some high walls, so be careful. Congratulations! You don't crash in your excitement. I like I you did. I'd see if I'd read this. If I'd realized you're in Sector 6 and read this, you would have been fine. You would have known oh, they not turn to crash into Ataris. In your Look, they turn into Ataris now on level 2. What do? Everything. Everything when I shoot them. Oh. Atari symbols. Yeah, they do. That's cool. Yeah. That's because you're on level 2? I did crash into it losing uh, life. But oh, but that counted. It, it does count, actually. I approve. Yeah, I of approve that tactic. of the suicide. <laughs> It uh, is a tactic. Yeah, no, I think that's great. I mean, it is hard to bomb it. It's very hard. I mean, you it's this game where you are... Well, it depends on what the um, canon is for what's happening to you when you die. Is it just that you're rewinding? It wouldn't make sense then, but... True. Yeah, that's cool that they turn into a little Atari... Uh, yeah. Nice little bonus. <laughs> sure, in space. <laughs> Trust says. Brick making in space. <laughs> well, we we did play a, a grass mowing simulator last... Oh, oh, it says, been. after completing your mission, you will start over at Sector 1, but in a different area of the scramble system. Can you seek out and destroy another grottering home base? Watch out, each successive loop will be tougher than the last. Well, this is a little tougher. I did die. Come on. Not much tougher so far. And this this level, the only thing is, are very predictably moving ships. Come on, shoot them! I predict this next level is going to be much harder. So, uh, a thrust. In, I don't know if you guys play board games, but there's a board game uh, called uh, Galaxy Trucker, <laughs> and in Galaxy Trucker, uh, you make your spaceship out of pipes. And the theme is that you are delivering pipes. Um, <laughs> but your ship's made out of pipes, too? Your ship is made out of the pipes. So you're ah! really just making the ship the... out of the thing you're shipping. What happens when you get to the other end? It gets disassembled because you're delivering the pipes. Oh. Yeah. Oh, because it's a one-way thing. Yeah. Um, well, that works. How do you get back to a different ship, I guess? Different type of ship. Uh, but... That's not part of the game. I guess what you do is you build another ship to, ah. to ship to a different place. That's because true. that's how Made the game works. You have you start off with a small ship, and the next phase you do a bigger ship. And Made of bricks, because you're transporting That's what I was going to say. You could yeah. do a version of that. This is um, much harder. <laughs> oh, the, those things can't die, but they eat your bombs. Oh, do they? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can't destroy them. You, you can't, They'll but soak they, it they up. don't just pass by them, I mean. So, uh, so you can't bomb things from above them, I guess. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't stay at the top and start bombing. Will I make it? What? <laughs> First you have to collect the material, then you form them, then you burn them, <laughs> then transport place to place. Oh, uh, transport to place and place them under constant alien attack. <laughs> <laughs> the bricks? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and it can even be not silly because you're building a wall against alien invasion. And the wall is basically um, uh, a Dyson sphere, a brick based Dyson sphere brick -based. around your planet. <laughs> brick based? Huh? Yeah. Is that the best material for the Dyson sphere? Well, it's good against certain attacks. Ah! That's oh why gosh. they have ceramic armor and tanks. Mm -hmm. Sure. Because uh, heat doesn't burn through ceramic as nice as it does through metal. I just remembered that there is a brick based Atari 2600 game. Oh. Uh, is called... it in space? No. Nobody cares. No, it's not in space. <laughs> it's on land and you're playing a pig and you're making your house out of bricks and the wolf is destroying it. It's called Oink. No! No! It's hard. It's a very hard game. Especially this narrow, fast-moving area. I don't think it moves any faster, though, on level two. I don't no, know I don't how they can. Does. How can they make it harder here? Like, does it need to be harder? Does this no. one need to be harder? No, thank you. They could steal some pixels from you. Oh, true. They can make it narrower or um, less room to move. It doesn't have to be faster. Yeah, it can't be faster ah! because it was already... It could be faster. It could be... That, I'm very happy with my... It could be that it's... <laughs> no, because it can't scroll... Because the, basi the basic movement of the game is that when you go backwards, you effectively are standing still yes. to the yes. scroll. Yeah. So th they would be breaking that rule. Yeah. I'm um, very happy with my, my playthrough there. I did win it once through. Even if I had three lives, I would have made it once through. Because I had tons of lives in level two wasted them all uh hey my last comment passed the longer one what <laughs> no idea uh do you want one more or we want to move on oh I think let's, we'll move, let's on. move on yeah yeah i did very well there it's an awesome game awesome version like it's great all mm -hmm. three versions are actually great 2600 7800 and this and this one is actually based on the 7800 version, at least the uh, map is, uh, because he got it from Pac-Man Plus, hmm. uh, the map. Um, the Mac map is from Pac-Man Plus? Yeah, Pac from the 7800. No, not the game. Ah. Uh, the person. Ah, okay. Come up. Um, because he did the 7800 version, and the map is the map. It's from the arcade. Uh, got passed, actually. No, still don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> My last comment got passed. Oh, like we didn't say it? I don't know. Um, let's see. Anything else I'd say about this? Yeah, so it came out in 2000. It's still in the Atari Age store if you want to buy it. It's super cool. So if you have a Atari 8-bit computer, go for it. But now we're going to be playing... Another game, but first we're going to show you a video of it. It's called Time Pilot. There is a cartridge version of this. Squish. <laughs> nope, doesn't care. Come on, let's move over a little bit. <laughs> Didn't have to jump down to do it. <laughs> um, so the poll is closed, and with 44.4%. Specific date and era. So a lot of people are just like, in 1983, that's when retro is. Or 1986. Or, I said era. Sorry, but... I was trying to decipher Thrust's text. Sorry, which one won? Uh, number one. Specific dates or era. Is like this specific date, that's retro. And everything past that is modern and it's immovable like that's it's so set in time so retro is only things Old. does so 
retro won't change in the in the future. <laughs> no, nope. I assure you that is incorrect. <laughs> That's right. Some like young person in you know a decade from now will hear the word retro and they will apply it to something else, and we will be yeah. Our rules will be falsified. Uh, thrust, <laughs> thrust knows how uh, nines work. That's for sure. Yeah, forty four point four means there was nine votes. <laughs> because you know, <laughs> one uh, one divided by nine is eleven point one 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 percent, you know, etc. Uh, and then two uh, in second place, it thirty three point three repeating percent. It's a rolling date or a generation where it's always like, oh, anything ten years older or two generations back is retro. Uh, uh, Crossbow says, "Yep, my boys were considered retro to be PS two or GameCube at this point," and I would send to agree as well i think it's a bit rolling as well like but it, it depends what retro also means to you mm -hmm. doesn't doesn't mean the same to everyone charles Whelan, retro what was cool in my youth yeah we'll be long gone when this changes we don't even have to worry about it yet because those are the first consoles they were really exposed to that makes sense uh so let's take a look at the arcade version of time pilot so we have something to uh compare the next game too so yeah the thing with from. classic cars though thrust and maybe this is different for you but i remember because it was like in the 80s that 70s 70s cars were definitely classic cars i know and it and, has not changed and it has not changed but the reason it hasn't changed in my experience is that the cars in the 80s suck yeah, they're boxy. They they're were boring. just well. It, it's that they made them pr like very practical, um, and so there just aren't very many cars from that era that you would bother like fixing up. Like why? Yeah. There are some. There's I've seen some. people that'll oh, yeah. do like, like Acuras and stuff like that. I've seen yeah. that. Yeah, but um, not like a whole era of like. Or we might be biased in thinking, oh, the certain cars from the 70s, the good-looking ones, because they were trashy it's garbage definitely, cars. It's, it's, definitely, it's definitely a bias, but it's like, it, it's because they made cars then that we thought looked cool enough to, like, yeah. Yeah. And they just, they've gotten way more, like, practical. Um, like, I remember in the 80s, all the cars were very... Or sedate, practically. I mean, there, it's not that there are none. There are some, but there just are nowhere near as many. They just didn't make that type of car anymore. So, uh, Time Pilot is a multi-directional shooter arcade game divided by, designed by Yoshiki Okamoto, released by Konami in 1982, distributed by Century in the United States, Atari Ireland in Europe and Middle East. Hmm. While engaging it in aerial combat... Sorry, Crossbow, yes. are you saying, like, a 70s Dodge Dart? Because... Yeah, I, my brother had one of those in like the late '80s, and we did think it was cool. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. It was gigantic. Anyway, it's going. Uh, while engaging in aerial combat, the player-controlled jet flies across open airspace that scrolls indefinitely in all directions. Uh, each level's themed to a different time period. Home ports for the Atari 2600, MSX, and ColecoVision were released in 1983. A top-down sequel, Time Pilot 84, was released in arcades in 1984. It drops the time motif and instead takes place over a futuristic landscape. So yeah, as you play this game, as you complete each level, it goes to the next era of playing technology, etc., etc., etc. Yep. Um, so, really, oh, there you go. Finished, uh, now he's going to 1970. See, the, the, the thing uh, about... What, you said it was uh, what's that song? Miami Vice, right? So like the thing about the cars that were that we would still think were cool is that in the eighties it was only expensive cars, whereas in really the seventies it was yeah. cheap cars. Like there Ferraris were lots of them. Like every, like the 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 you know the hot rod cars that yeah. came from the seventies and sixties or what have you, and and fifties were all cars that like were normal cars that yeah. were cool yeah, as opposed cool. to really expensive cars that were cool yeah, yeah. yeah. okay <laughs> stop talking about cars for a second one, <laughs> we'll get back thousand. to it back to cars no. <laughs> uh, so this is the web page of um the group uh, uh that made the game they are uh oh my goodness what is the name of the group 
NG, NG, NG. Damn it, forgot the name. Net new generation. There we go. Time Pilot is an arcade port of a great game from the 1980s, originally designed by you. Yep, we already said that. Done from scratch by New Generation Scene Group in 2018 for Atari XLXE machines. The game has won first place at Retro Game Jam in Poland. And there are all the credits. Um, and they actually released the source code for the game, so you can recompile it if you want. And you can download it right from their website here if you want to uh, grab a copy to play it on your own. Um, anything else here? Custom engine. The game runs in a custom engine built from scratch. You can render up to 48 soft sprites and use queued processing engine is fully scalable for faster CPUs. It automatically detects it and adjusts engine values. That's pretty cool. So the faster your computer, the better the game is. And usually older systems didn't really have that kind of thing. And you got what you got because most computers back then were like, eh, here you go. Um, you have to have X amount of RAM. And if you had more RAM, it just didn't care. If you had less yeah. RAM, it just didn't work. Yeah. But modern games are like, oh, you have a faster video card? You can just pump you it up to the more. max. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. that's really cool. I remember like games like um, mm. uh, Star Control. Star Control 2. Its clock was based on the speed of your CPU. Mm. And so if you put it in a newer computer, oh. I remember putting it in my newer computer and got it to run. And like... <laughs> the whole game the clock's going the game ended in like 10 minutes or 20 <laughs> minutes or something and like it's supposed to take you hundreds of hours or something to play but like but it's just like that's a mistake all the things were happening and it's like oh all the planets are being destroyed and i was just like oh no because they either thought that computers wouldn't get faster which i doubt they didn't think that or they thought nobody in the future would play their game so what they thought is this we have this we'll play <laughs> we'll make it for this computer that we it have works now. right now Forget the future. Yeah, it's not. It's like if you have a better computer, then uh, maybe you just got to be better, faster. Yep. Yeah, you just, just got to be faster act at quicker. it. Uh, our version <laughs> of Time Pilot uses original arcade size sprites with all the animation frames. It also provides original joystick movement with, with all exception that arcade machine had. Full parallax scrolling is in the game. Uh, Atari XEXL version of Time Pilot includes all five levels, space level graphic included, an additional game mode, The Swarm, for Atari with Rapidus expansion. I don't know what that is, so mm. I obviously do not have Rapidus <laughs> expansion. Uh, press the select key at title screen. Unless that's just a cool thing they made up. Uh, works on all machines. Works on every Atari XL XE machine. PAL NTSC works on stock Atari XL XE, XG, XEGS, and any computers with hardware modifications because some hardware modifications for this breaks some games ah. because it's like oh i can't run on this which is not a good thing i bet to do. i could make a hardware modification that it wouldn't work on <laughs> yep smash <laughs> I don't know, that's the simplest one i don't know if that counts as a modification that's um other games made by this uh group uh for Atari 8-Bit, Flimbo's Quest, there's Time Pilot, Forsaken Love, Timekeeper, uh, Lame, Number One, some of these might be demos, Zero, The Reflect, I'm sure ASCII Collection's not a game, uh, The Ass Kissel, uh, <laughs> Zed, uh, Tech, Tectro, and Merry Christmas, that sounds like a demo too, it's hard to say, Maybe if I put my mouse over these things, it'll tell me. No, those are people's names. Yeah. I always liked the old preludes. Oh, still in the car. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, let's pop this in. And go for it. So, if you could navigate to today's date with the joystick. Um, so, this is made by uh, Yaroslav no Hadula. No navigation necessary. That's right. It's already on it. Version 1.01 from May 23rd. Try the button again. I think you failed. There you go. <laughs> failed. It you. said you failed. Uh, it's a 28K game. Oh, it read the file very quickly. It's uh, through cartridge. Ah, yes. So that's that's the nice thing about this. So, zip. Super fast. And did it we uses already, did we the whole screen. Did we already talk about the time screen. we were trying to get the... the 
it's not a modem, but the modem like thing. Oh yeah, and yeah, we like, Fujinet. And you were like, reset, reset. What was I doing? Reset. Was I was I like, trying? I think maybe it's trying to load. Don't you remember like in the eighties? <laughs> I would like to oh, try to load I, things. I wasn't patient enough. You were like not patient enough. Does not state it <laughs> enough. You were like, why is it not instantly working? <laughs> reset, 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 I'm, reset. Because I've been so used to cartridge based <laughs> games. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, boom. Yeah. It's done. Yeah, yeah and that's like, funny. oh, I actually like, have oh, to load. Oh, we have to sit here for like a minute and wait for the thing to load. Ah, yeah. I'm glad it's 2021 and not 1986. Yeah. <laughs> I was about those fonts. Are those native fonts are rendered in software? Those are really big, like really big fonts. I, I'm guessing it's software based. Um, so uh, go for it. Press the button and you'll figure out how to play. Shoot everything. Rescue the parachuters. Um, and then shoot oh the my. big ship. Those planes along the bottom left are how many you have to shoot. They are a uh, like a graph of oh, planes. More bombs? Like... What? Yeah, <laughs> they have bombs. I'm complaining because the uh, the, the oh you shot it. Oh good. Get that guy. Yep. Oh, I was trying to kill him. I was desperately trying to kill him, but didn't. Luckily, it did not kill him. So it's a very unique control scheme. Whoa, that one just... Know, that was, that was just. very interesting because uh, the bomb moves so different from everything else. It has gravity. Yeah. And yet... And everything else is flying, so it, it's like the other things don't have gravity. They do. But. Yeah. And you can infinitely fly up. So though you've defeated enough planes. Now you now you shoot the big thing. It doesn't shoot back, but it will be defended. I'm, no, you I stared feel, into the bullet. I uh, feel as though um, my very, jet should be faster. I know. Yeah, there's no speed up. You're the same speed as all the planes and the bullets. A very similar control scheme to Bosconia. It says one up. What does that mean? Level two. That means player one is playing. Right. 1940. You still have your jet. But now what? there's... Oh, I see. I'm from the future. Yeah. Okay. You are like it. changing the past. I oh! feel as though I should have more of an advantage, but probably sure. Probably moving just slightly faster than everybody is better than way faster. Are, I think you are. You need are to know you? how to do barrel rolls and stuff if you want to. <laughs> oh my goodness! Look at whoa! Oh. It does chunk down a bit. It does get a little bit slower when there's a lot of planes on the screen, which is to your advantage. So why did I get points for rescuing the enemy pilots? Uh, I think those are your guys, actually. Oh, I took them out with the hull of my ship. Let me read, read the uh, instructions fuselage. here. Oh, you did it. Oh, you crashed into them. That's yep. one way to do it. Just like the other game. Yep. <laughs> Gameplay. Players assume the role of a pilot of a futuristic fighter jet, trying to rescue fellow pilots trapped in different time eras. But they came out of uh, a helicopter. No, I blew up a helicopter no, or an or airplane. It floating. could have just been coincidence. They're already floating. Quinky dink. Um, in each level... Killed by Spitfires. <laughs> uh, players battle enemy aircraft and then stronger aircraft. Players' fighter jet is in the center of the screen at all times. Players eventually battle a mothership of the time period they're in. Uh, once a mothership is defeated, they move on to the next time period. Parachuting pilots will occasionally appear and award pa players points if collected. There are five levels. 1910, 1940, 1970, 1982, 83, and 2001. After the fifth level is finished, the game repeats thereafter. Oh, stink. Stinky cats. Extra lives are given at 10,000 points, and per 50,000, scored up to 960,000. That is hilarious. 
So you get tons and tons and tons of free lives up to 960,000 points. And then you don't get any more. You uh, get tons and tons of lives up to what? You get uh, a free life every 50,000 up to 960,000 points. After that, you don't get any free lives. After that, you have to be good enough to like play the game without getting bonus lives. Yes. Uh, fighters are destroyed if they collide into bullets, enemy ships, or missiles. Game ends if the last fighter is destroyed. I think part of the problem last time was that I um, failed to recognize that the ships were going to be uh, more futuristic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that affected your gameplay? Yeah, because oh. suddenly it was harder and I didn't... Oh, right. They had more... I know. That's dumb. Firepower. I know it's dumb. I know I'm dumb. <laughs> I'm just explaining the dumbness that is me. <laughs> so, so this was released on the 2600, the MSX, and ColecoVision. Um, 1970. I'm pretty uh -oh. sure I have it for the ColecoVision, but I don't think I have it for the 2600. I'm going to look it up. Look up my list. No! Come on. No! Uh, 2600 version is quite good considering the hardware. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> Should have gone, you know, away from the bullet instead of. Yeah, but there was. I was trajectory. between a bomb and a bullet. And yeah. yes, I should have done it better. You're correct. <laughs> uh, thank you for pointing out I should not should have been so better. bad at this. You should play better. I, no, I don't have this game. Interesting. No! Oh! Whoa! Just missed. There's a little bit of leeway in the pixels. A little bit of leeway. Now I'm in trouble. Every com conversation... Between a bomb and a hard place. Yeah. Mentioning the 2600 always ends in considering the hardware. Um... Well, for games back then... Oh, oh, God. Oh, boy, that was hard. For homebrew, it's not like that. It's like, it's just good. Like Robotron, it's just good, period. It is unbelievable. Galaga, it's probably one of like, the best uh, conversions ports out there of Galaga. No! Uh, um, <laughs> Draconian, unbelievable. Unbelievable. So, so good. But, yeah. It's mostly said for, about, like, original... What? The, the original that guy Vecchi suicided games. on me. Who Ve taught him how to play? Vector Pilot for the Vecchi is amazing. Oh, is that... Uh, do I have... I'm pretty sure I have Vector Pilot. I'll have to play that. Do I have it? Do I have it? Do I have it? No! No! back yes there we go okay i've back. got to give them credit for uh realizing that i might play this game and letting me uh <laughs> correct my error i'm pretty sure i vector pilot but i don't see it right now yes i do you know i have vector pilot <laughs> that's funny he knows the games i have vector pilot no i don't i don't have it listed see if you can beat the high score. Four, four, four. That's right. Hey, that's, uh, never mind. I'll give it a try. Is it auto-fire? Yes, it I is. don't know. No, it's not. It's not auto-fire. Strafe everything. If it was, I would definitely have used the auto-fire feature. Shoot in a circle. You cannot escape. The only reason, uh... Well, actually, I don't know what the explanation oh, is God. why the 1970s uh, fighters weren't using missiles. Yeah, missiles, right? In 1970? I don't think they had. I don't think they were regularly using missiles to fight. Yet. But I don't. I don't know why you're not using missiles. Ah. Uh, yeah, that's true. Well, maybe the bullets are like the thing so about the powerful. bullets. They the are, bullets they are missiles, them. maybe. They it's kill in one shot. The, the the thing about the bullets isn't that they go too fast; it's that they go too slow. 
they like follow you forever. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's like, true. They're like so slow and that's the thing plotting. that makes them difficult is you've got to keep navigating Look at it, around these the little bombs. Yeah, that's a, that's why it sucks. <laughs> Um, they're like the zombies of bullets. <laughs> they just go and go and go and yeah, I mean you're faster than them, but they just stay there and they annoy you. <laughs> and eventually they will kill you, Barbara. Ah! Oh, oh. No, no, no! Whoa! Yeah, you set that thing on fire, Luckily, man. Luckily. Everything explodes. All the bombs and bullets disappear when you blow up that thing. I, I killed the central server. That uh, controls... Oh, you know what? It was 1990s fighters that I died to. They would oh, have rockets. You? I don't know why they weren't using them against me. I guess we must have, like... Uh, um, like teak seeking ones, you mean? Well, they couldn't use them because we're so advanced that they can't use rockets. They can only use, I don't know, dumb bombs and, <laughs> dumb bombs. and super slow bullets. Kill us. But uh, lucky for them, ah, it works. Crashed into me. Yeah, because they're faster than you now. Oh, no. That's a pain in the ass. I don't know if they're actually faster, but they feel faster sometimes. Like you they try are. to get away and then Die. you cannot. So if no, you... you've tied my score! No. Yeah, Maybe, 44? That's, no, that's yours. Oh, okay. It does show the high score oh, on the screen. Okay. This is where you were able to make it to? Yeah. Red zone! No, 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 no. Oh my god, they're so fast now. I know. Oh, it's a lot going on. And there's a lot of them. Yeah. Oh, they're shooting too much. They're shooting too much. Well, you're still alive. Ah! Caught the edge. Oh, there's your target. Oh. Yep. I've killed enough planes. I had the target too, but I couldn't kill it because um, all the other things. All the other things were happening. Come on, come on, come on. He's stepping on your paperwork. Oh no! What are you doing to He's my trying paperwork? You're not fill out your paperwork. Are you trying to get my ship? Oh, my, the, my boat batteries. The guy in the parachute dies too. Oh, it's 2077 or is oh, it 2001? You're a good kitten. Did you see? Uh, no. I thought it said 2077. Whoa. I feel like you're not. You're a time pilot, sure, but you must be not from this future. No. This must be the future of you. Because you'd have these ships, right? Because yeah, they're faster. They seem. They seem better. And how are you rescuing people that aren't don't exist yet in the time that you... Oh, well, you're there. That. He's in a spacesuit. If, if you're there, why wouldn't they be able to be there? You're not from this time. That's I don't. I don't find that to be a complication. You know what? The UFOs are better because they're random. They don't chase you. Oh, I don't think the other things chased you all that much either. That's why you didn't die in those. Come on, die. Yes! So do I loop back? Or do I go even further? Nope. Looping back. Rescue more people in 1910. But they've learned. They're better. They've Their got better ships planes. Their are, are faster. <laughs> better. Their bullets go faster. Uh, they hyper hypered their bullets. How fast that bullet goes. I'm actually I don't faster. know if it's any faster. Well, you're faster compared to them because you always were. Ooh, and you're just used to being slower than them because you've done uh, several levels where you were slower. That's true. Nope. Oh, my God. Did I kill enough? Oh, I think you have to kill more now. That makes sense. You definitely have to kill more at this point. Oh, yeah, you've got enough now. Nice. Get that guy, yeah, otherwise yeah, yeah, yeah. he'll die. Oh, you no, killed no. him. He magically gets on board no, and he's transported. No, he's dead, and it's he all didn't, your fault. He didn't have an explosion. He just poofed out of existence. I have never played this game before. I have to tell you. Um, other than making sure it works on my system. Um, testing it out. And it did. Um, no, no! Yeah, Metal Lunar agrees with me. Those bullets seem faster. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I'm not sure if that's worse or better, though. At least they get out of the way. At least uh, you can dodge them. You, can't, you couldn't dodge the first ones. No, they're like... They're like, no, ah. I'm I'm creeping up you on you very slowly. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. Yeah, Crossbow agrees with me that everything dies in the temporal displacement field that is generated during the time travel. <laughs> oh... Yeah, I, I, I guess. Da, 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 da. Nope. Uh, that is not. That is not a. Um, 
that is not an irregular occurrence for the big ship to hide behind the big ship sized cloud <laughs> for like a crazy amount of it's time. A smart boy, uh, tactic. It's helicopter's time. Yeah, they can move wherever they want because they're helicopters. They don't have to slowly turn around. They do have to consider momentum, but. Last life. No! Oh! Terrible. <laughs> that was a very short last life. I did very well, I think. Yeah, you oh, my first more game. than doubled my score. You... <laughs> I don't think it... Oh, you can't loop around. What kind of score table is this? <laughs> so is everyone that you save trapped with you on this time loop? They all fit into your They trap. all died, because he didn't survive. <laughs> Everyone's doomed to failure because um, oh, no. the limitations of uh, but the game never ends. So No, yeah. you just keep going back and finding new people. Really, what's happening is it looks like you're rescuing them, but really you're stabbing them and sucking their <laughs> life essence out so that you can continue to travel through time for several more like, minutes. Do you open your hatch and let them in, or they just get sucked up in your jet engine? <laughs> They're your, like, they're your real enemies. You're there to kill them. And so you run into them with your airplane. Make sure that they're dead. You play one more and I'll play one more. I'm going to do that. Okay. Although the astronaut dudes in 27-7 might survive as they're in suits. I mean, as long as their oxygen is available. All right, I think get them. Killed one of my enemies. I think that's why you're rescuing That's them. why you get 2,000 points. You don't get 2,000 points for helping people. You get it for harming. <laughs> Harming. It's true. It's all about the harm. It's all about the harm. <laughs> How much harm can you do? <laughs> Most video games are about the harm. <laughs> Whoa, threading the needle. Whoa, nice maneuver. No! Oh! Whoa! <laughs> you are just outmaneuvering everything on the screen there. Woo! <laughs> They stick on the outside of the ship. They're Velcro. <laughs> it's it's camouflage for the next uh, level. <laughs> it's armor. Armor for the next level. Holy jumping. There's, oh, get them. Get the enemies. Uh, Kill them. <laughs> that's right. You got them. Only so much Icor. Icor. Did you know that Icor is Icor? I don't know either of those terms. Icor, like, like, Icor? like, like when some body explodes or icky like if you had zombies okay they Whoa. would be uh you know like is that an abbreviation barf out icker. <laughs> you don't know what that. that is no i've never heard of that before okay the other one is is chitin is chitin i mean in both of those cases, german words no like like <laughs> like a, a crab has a Tightness material on. You're saying body. a lot of words I've never heard before. T I don't know tightness? why you wouldn't have heard them. Like I feel like a chitin. Chit it's a, I thought it was chitin, and I like that sound better. And chitin. so it bothers me that I'm wrong about these words. Uh, you can start a movement and change the pronunciation. Slow moving bullets. Avoid them. <laughs> Impossible. They're going from both directions. Whoa. I can't run from both of them. This is a very cool concept for a game. I like it a lot. Uh, a little samey samey between levels. Ah, but it does get harder. Be nice if like it uh, threw in a couple things, some special special guys that came out and shot you or something. All right, fighter jets. One bullet just floated there. Yeah, I mean, if you're going along at the same, like that no! looks like it's just like sitting there, those bullets. They're just like, Bleh. And you have to get out of the way of them. Because everything's relative to everything else in this game. Like, there's so much parallax going on everywhere. Whoa! Oh. The arcade version and the Vectrex version are much more difficult to play. Ah. Like, I, what's the Vectrex version? Something pilot? Vec pilot? I swear I ordered it, so I must have it somewhere. Maybe I didn't realize that... What's it called? Again? I'm gonna kill my enemy. I can't let that ship blow up. Scroll up. My enemy hasn't been destroyed yet. Vector pilot. Search my email. Woo! 
No, I don't. I don't. I never have an email saying Vector Pilot. Does it exist still? Can you still buy it? Oh, jeez. How do you would... even do space? Can you run into those asteroids? Uh, no. Are they just clouds? You have to shoot them. Oh, those are those are just clouds. Yeah, just different. different what did you clouds. think I meant? I thought you meant the little things. Those are just like bullets. Yeah, the bullets. Yeah. Hateful, hateful bullets. No! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Why? No. Like, I don't think it got that much harder. I just vector pilot. I think maybe it did. I don't know. Oh, you can still order it. Hooray! They got wiggle bullets and regular bullets. Game over. You did much better. My score is only slightly better. Should I put your name in for you? Yes. Oh, oh no. No! No, oh. no, go back. Oh, can you? Oh, there, you can. Yeah. If you go to blank and then go back, you can oh, go back. Oh, nice. And then you go to blank and you press it, and then I think you press it again, and it's, yeah, it's I think like satisfied. Five letters, maybe? You still buy all of Kristoff's games from him. That's important because people try and sell them for crazy price on eBay, and you don't have to pay that. Yeah, <laughs> that's what happens. Like they make ten copies of something, and then it's like it's two hundred dollars now. Like, uh, yeah, really? Okay. So I almost got. No, I didn't get extra. I didn't get an extra life. See if I do better or worse. Sometimes you do worse because now you're like concentrating on different things in the game, or you just get oh, like you do different placement. tactics, yeah. and those tactics suck. Rather than like just killing your enemies. enemies. Yeah. Oh, well, killing your enemies seems like it would be worth like two thousand points each. This map is easier, so maybe you should just play this map over and over and over oh. and over and over, getting two thousand points every time you kill a parachute guy. That is true. Like. Like, just kill everybody. And Maybe since the game goes on forever, the only thing you can track it with... Well, oh, extra not the only thing, but... You can track it with... Um, I just have to avoid shooting the score. The balloon. Shooting the balloon. Uh, they may stop... No, they didn't stop sending out. Of course, I just lost a life because I'm... Yeah, but you, if you care around. about points, then maybe you don't care about that. I don't know. You get more points... Do the points rack up quicker oh in the higher God. levels? So far, I haven't seen that they do. Maybe. My game is going so. to be terrible because you're making me try something. Oh, it's my fault. Yep. I'm yep. making you. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. 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 Yeah, you can just keep going. So, if somebody in the arcade... There must be something in the arcade to prevent you from doing that. The human desire to progress <laughs> and the fact that getting a high score only gives you a high score and doesn't hurt the people that made the game at all so why why try to interfere well yeah and that people sure. will question your high score if you play this way <laughs> not me i will say yes you did it right this is what you should do yeah but i am biased in, I in of it. high score <laughs> competitions they would disqualify you from doing this like for f the fun ones but for like, oh, top score and time pilot ever from the arcade, they'd be like, eh, whatever way you got it, you got it. I think. I but what do you mean? Like, like unless... Point so, scrubbing. So what do they do? They say, oh, you don't get any points for the parachutes? Is that how they uh, defeat it? Because otherwise, oh, I accidentally, oh, I accidentally got a parachute <laughs> guy more. Oops. Oh, oops, 2,000 points. Yeah. I, I like don't know how, how, how they would you, judge that. How do you regulate that? It's That's like, as soon as the big ship comes out, you must go for it immediately. That must be it. Right? You cannot get any more parachute guys once the oh, big ship comes out. Oh, then how do the parachute guys uh, happen? Don't shoot anybody. Just go for parachute guys. <laughs> oh, I didn't shoot the big ship because there wasn't one. I wonder if I could do that. Or they just gather. Forced to play with auto fire. <laughs> All these artificial rules... Uh, oh, there's a guy. Regulated. There's yep. a guy. There you go. I'll just run away from all the planes. It actually makes me fly faster when there's no planes on the screen. Oh yeah, that's right. You uh, almost got the score that I got from playing several levels. <laughs> <laughs> Parachute guys aren't super frequent, but they're frequent enough. I don't know how much how many points you get for shooting those enemies. I guess you could say, planes. oh, points per per second. What is your points per second? I guess. 
There's a parachute guy. How many points do I get for shooting the enemy planes, though? I don't know. Probably something. <laughs> Can you try and pick uh, it up? 100? 100 per plane. Oh, uh, see. Parachutes so are you, really good to get. Yeah, yeah. And you want to shoot... The, there's another parachute up there. You want to shoot those planes while you're doing it anyways. Yeah. This would be... <laughs> what do people think about this strategy? Thrust says difficulty could increase by score, just like Starcast. Oh, does. yes. That but it doesn't seem it. to, but that no, would solve it. Yeah. It doesn't seem to. Because then be like, well, do you want to um, get to. If you're doing level it from a. 20, or do you want to get to level 1? If you're doing it from, like, the producing the game perspective, then, like, you could limit it by going, oh, there are three parachute guys. You need to rescue three of them. Yes. Once you do, you got all three of those bonuses. And you don't have to rescue all three before you go to the next level, but that's the most points you can get from it. Or whatever. But um, people that's making... normal is that there's a limited amount of points you can get. Yeah. People making arcade games are making arcade games so that the people running the arcade make the maximum amount of money they can. Yeah. So if they allow you to stay on level one, the easy level, forever... Uh, I'm just going to do level two. Um, then they're not making as much money as they could. Because they want you to die within three minutes if you're like a normal player, not a super awesome player at the game. Yeah, I was noticing that the biplanes, their wing changed colors when they went into a cloud. Did these ones oh. do it? Uh, Can't tell because you keep shooting them. Uh, I'm not going to risk it. I think that might only be... Yeah, the biplanes turn white. Like they're... Yeah. Let's see if I can let one go. Come on, go into it. No. It's when they cross each other, too, that something happens. Mm. Limitation uh, like, of the colors. Uh, Azure 65002 is the one who, who said something about it, but there might be a color limit. Oh, God. Yep, most likely. Because they've got... Planes are almost all the same color. No! What? Okay, that's one way of doing it. Oh, that, I die, then it senses the fact that I've killed the ship. <laughs> and then I go to the next level. Yeah. Oh, glitch. Oh, God. A lot of things going on. I think a good strategy is to like do this stray thing, so like stray bullets just happen to. Oh, that's yeah, definitely that works. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you've uh, you've just exceeded your high score. Excellent. I only made it to level three. <laughs> so if you want to go for score, definitely do that. If there's no rule against it in the uh, competition you're in. It's certainly more boring now. So if you're playing for fun, that would not be the way to go. But if you need lives, and you want to rack up a bunch of lives before you... Of course, I'm not doing well because I'm dying. You do have to play well at the same time. Nope. And done. Almost done a thousand. It's a really fun game. Very, very fun game. In Vector Pilot, at least the parachute guy's bonus increases with each one you get on the level, so they really can add up the score. Oh my so you God, definitely yeah. not want to change levels. You would yeah. stay on that level forever. Yep. And <laughs> just get more and more and more. Or maybe means each successive level, they get more. Oh, I don't think it saves because it's on a cartridge. I mean, fine. I mean, it can, even on a cartridge. But I don't think it does. Said PH. No, not HH. Am I going the wrong way? Yep, it's at the A, and it doesn't loop around. Or do I just press left? It's just left. Uh, no, you have to go to the blank and then press left. Nope, I just press left. You got to the blank first. Did I? I think so. Try it now, because I, I want to see. Oh, I can. I just go left. But you were on the blank. So put a letter, now go. Press the button. Now go. Now just turn left. left. 
Yeah. Oh, it did work. Oh, okay. And it actually moves that letter over. So it's oh. an L. That's pretty interesting. Oh, that's cool. There we go. Uh, it seems like the playfield is built in Antic 5 text mode. Oh, okay. Cool. 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 I need to learn more about that. Well, that was... Uh... Did it show something? It said something. First bonus, 10,000 points, and every... Oh, thank you, uh, Jesse uh, Crossbow. I am on that page, actually, right now. He sent me a page to order Vector Pilot. Ah, cool. Um, That's this, but on Vectrex? Yes. Um, cool. And I did enjoy this game, so I, I probably <clears throat> will pick that up, because I do like uh, uh, Vector uh, Vectrex Homebrew. Uh, so, super cool game. It's very fun. Uh, it's a very different style of control. It feels even more different than Bosconian because in Bosconian, you immediately go left. This one, you kind of have to almost, you have a momentum. Yeah, yeah. You have to turn around and go left. It feels like that anyway. Well, it's like you can only turn so fast. Yeah. 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 Um, but it's, it's similar to Bosconian in, in the way that you're in the middle. You can shoot every direction and all the things come to you and there's bosses to blow up and then you go to the next level after you blow up the boss except in Bosconi you have like three to ten or whatever bases you have to blow up the vectrex version has has unlockable and high score save on the cart oh wow really just a fun and amazing version of the game and uh the overlays are fun too because you're always in the middle of the screen oh, it can do yeah. color for you a different color, color for, for them, you yeah um which is which is really cool and awesome and they have different overlays that you can pick um they, some of them are sold out though so i have the choice of overlay one and three blue uh or I like, red i oh. like three i like, I like the, the blue, blue yeah. yeah overlay three the red one makes me angry for some reason <laughs> anxious and angry <laughs> so super cool great uh both are great shooters um, so I recommend uh, downloading or buying either one of them. Super awesome. Uh, so coming up on the show, lots of cool things. Let's do a rundown of the cool things coming up here. Web page. Boom. Is that too small? It's probably a little small. Yeah, that's pretty small. Let's do it. Um, so yeah, I've played Scramble and Time Pilot today. Um, if it gets released in time, we'll play Prince of Persia hmm. on Tuesday. They did delay it once, but he seemed pretty confident that it'll be out. I think he said it in the 18th, so the day before. Uh, on the another Atari 8-bit day. I mean, just happened to fall on that. Quick show. Uh... A little bit, a little uh, shorter hour, than, a little shorter, yeah, yeah. Yeah, hour 45 minutes. Somebody uh, in the YouTube comments said, your shows are long, too long. And in fact, it was that day, the, yes, the last show, it was Atari 2600, and it was just as long as today's. So it was like, and it's it like was shorter, short. yeah. shorter than normal. <laughs> I'm like, mm, I don't know. But YouTube is not the same as Twitch. No, like, it's like it's Twitch you know, is interactive. You get to talk. You get to see it real time. It's a stream, like you're watching it to see stuff happening, a game being played. Yeah. Whereas on on YouTube, you're like watching. I don't know. It's just like different. And to that point, you can fast forward YouTube. You don't have to sit you play and watch it it. fast too. Yeah, double speed. You, It'd I, be weird watching video you, games. At no, double speed, your brain though. is so good at it. Your brain is so good at tracking yeah. speed yeah. that like you can speed things up. I was. Uh, I'll watch videos on like one and a half, sometimes double speed, depending on what it is. <laughs> and then it'll come to something that I wouldn't normally watch that way. And it was like some mm. like actors or something talking. Oh, and it took me a while to realize that they were in fast forward. Yeah, it because just, they don't pitch it up. They don't, it? Yeah, it sounds right. Yeah. And like it just, it doesn't even sound like they're talking fast. It's like your brain just like a podcast, audiobooks, same thing, 1.5. Audiobooks, uh, at first I was really reluctant. I started with just like 1.2 because like you gain so much by increasing a little. So it takes so much less time. Like, I'm up to two now. And like that's pushing it for me. It, but it isn't really. That's just it. I was, I was in this, I started there and I was like, oh, it sounds weird. Depends on but the speaker. Like, now fast they talk too. 
It depends on how fast they talk. That's yeah. huge. Some some of the narrators, like, they really drag their ass. They get paid <laughs> per hour. Uh-huh. And that's, that's, I, I don't think that's really it. I think it's more just that they're trying to be dramatic. Yeah, right? there has been some ZPH yeah. streams that were three hours long. I've tried to cut down and keep it under two or yeah. two now because, yeah, they're long. But once you get used to the multiplier, you, as long as you can understand what they're saying, like, yeah. it's amazing your brain just adjusts yeah. eventually it takes some time to yeah. not feel that it's weird but once you adjust it's like no you can really can hear everything you can hear all the expression and all that stuff and to but that you can't you got to slow it down a bit and to that point just take a look at any videos of uh people with uh vision impairment and the way they use their phone because they have they have the reading thing mm-hmm. right they they hover over things and, and menus and it says blah 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 right yeah. they have it at like five times it's like brr, 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 brr. it's so fast like you can't understand it but that's they use it all day long right oh it For reads it, to it, them yeah oh, it reads okay, because yeah, they yeah. can't see it yeah yeah um, your brain reads stuff quicker than yeah what pe- the way someone reads things out loud <laughs> you missed it all <laughs> so there's somebody who's used to three hour broadcast uh it's only halfway through the longest didn't you do like a marathon the thing? longest one Longest continuous one is either uh, the marathon for the fundraising marathon for Stella, or it was Atari Age Day. Hmm. Atari Age Day was, I think, nine hours. And the Stella, oh, long, regular ones, hmm. not special ones. Uh, over three for sure. Yeah, over yeah, yeah. four, I think, yeah. for sure. They haven't tried the children yet. Children. I know that. I know that that was in the competition. I can't remember what that game looks like. Now. I thought it was like some cannibalism joke that I didn't get. I mean, there's some Atari 8-bit <laughs> games that are like adventure games. So I'm like, uh, I can't play adventure games on here. It takes forever. Maybe. Maybe. Oh no, that's not it. Let's go Atari. Nope, that's going to bring up other things. Children playing Atari games. Oh, you guys can see this. Um, The children, in quotes. Yes. Got it. I'm not going to find it. I'm going to have to look it up elsewhere. Um... (laughs) Uh, an Atari age. That's what I'm going to do. Age. The children. Uh, Atari 8-bit. Oh, oh, I think I found it. Let's see. And it was part of the basic 10-liner contest in 2021 at this year. They did a three-hour stream this past Saturday on YouTube. Yep. It's my 10-liner. Oh! <laughs> well, there you go. I think I played Dungeons & Dragons for 12 hours. Can't you go on, like, YouTube and sort them by length? I don't think you can, because they don't care about that. Zero-page homebrew. Let's see. So you have to go on YouTube to find out the length. So go to Videos. Sort, sort by, by. no, <laughs> you can't. But you can look at them quickly, right? Two and a half, two, three. That's a special one. Yeah, that's the Tokos mm-hmm. <laughs> show. Speaking of uh, three, that's our. Uh, was that normal? Three minutes. Three minutes. No, the one below it. Oh, it is three yeah, minutes. That was another one. That was, was a quick minutes, Lego yeah. build of. Ah uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, so that's a normal one. Three hours. I know there's much longer ones. Like, we should just jump back because I used to do super long ones. Uh, so that's 311. Oh, that was four minutes, I think. No, four, four hours. hours. 425, yeah. Yeah, look at how many games I used to play. Six games. Like, why? Why was I playing six games? What year was that? Ten months ago. That wasn't that long ago. No. Four four hours. Because they were short. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Short. 
but you add them up. I was I was doing a patch. I, now I separate out the patches. Mm -hmm. So uh, like, yeah, I think those were short, and then you added the patch at the yeah, end. Yeah, and yeah. and for a patch, I would do it for an hour, an hour and a half, two hours mm -hmm. sometimes, right? If I was really doing getting better and better. There's so should four. I count that? Eh, that's a legitimate one. It's legitimate. Uh, no, I was going for a patch there. <laughs> that's not legitimate. It's not legit. <laughs> three, three, twenty-one. Four. four. That one's legitimate. Yeah, four hours. I'm just playing three games. Um, so it was four hours on the dot. Yeah, so four hours. But you can see they used to be longer, right? All, all over two. And and some. I mean, you're were not going to edit them. You're not no. going to like. That's edit why them I do it to... live. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> I don't. I don't want to edit these shows. It just takes too long. Yeah. It's a pain in the ass. Just post it. Anyway. There's yeah, lots of reasons to do it live, but yeah. I'm watching Fight of the Concords this week, and I have to know, how do you say, uh, well, it's, it's, a band, it's a band name. They say that name. They've established yeah. that name. It's ZZ Top. It's ZZ Top, yeah. yeah. But in all other circumstances, it is a, it's, it's supposed to be. It should be ZZ Top, but... Yeah. They're an American. Yeah, we're not going to tell them how to say their name. Yeah, they're an American. That band. would be rude. Be super rude. It is a joke. Yeah, because they're from New Zealand, so they they would obviously say Z Z top, top, <laughs> top. They every vowel is an I. For that's how I've learned how to distinguish Australian from New Zealand. All their vowels head towards I. Um, because if you if you look up sp speaking videos mm -hmm. they classify the way you speak is where you put your tongue mm. for vowels and where they put their tongue is more towards the way we say eyes at least here and in, 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 in north america so zz top zz top so you go top at top kind of like that and that's and australians don't have zid zid top i don't know do, do uh, zid, new zealanders zid, say zid, zed or Z. Uh, the only people who say um, uh, Z are mm -hmm. Americans. Ah. The rest of the world says Z. Yeah. X, Y, Z. Uh, okay, back to this. Oh, that's way too big. So Prince of Persia and nothing, nothing. And then we have the Halloween homebrew special. Uh, and we have exclusive secret world premiere from a Mick Crocker who uh, actually posted a picture today of uh, a little sneak preview of a pumpkin that's coming from his game i'm guessing because he's working on a halloween game and it looks amazing absolutely amazing don't know if i can find it quickly let's see bet i can boom boom let's see if i can bring that over easily One second. I always have to switch back to us in case there's a problem. <laughs> when I put something on the screen, it's like, oh, you should have seen that. Here we go. So I've been working away on my little 2600 mini game. That's my paper. You can't smush that. And so. I mean, you can. There's the pumpkin. And I don't know if that's like a reflection of the pumpkin or. Hmm. It does look like it. It does look like it. And he's got. He's using. Um, another player character for that line so that might just be the title screen um, for this because on the 2600 you only have one color per line hmm. for each player so he would have to either use the ball in beside the eye in behind the eyes um, or he'd have to use another player uh, missile or something else like that but it looks looks amazing yeah it is atari <laughs> yeah nobody's feeding them nobody's feeding them today. oh it's not time for food yet don't think so. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, I see. It is. It doesn't have a countdown. Um, anyway, it's it time. looks yum, absolutely yum, amazing. Yum, yum. <laughs> <laughs> you see him dart, dart there, and I know Pixel's gonna come down. Anyway, looks looks awesome. Oh, ding! He's figured it out. Pixel. <laughs> um. Oh, he's going for the other one. Then there's a high score showdown. Oh, I hear thumping. On uh, November 5th 
uh, we're going to be doing Crazy Balloon right into feeding position. He knows where to go. Then on November 16th, we have exclusive world premieres of 8-Bit. <laughs> Not very good at throwing it outside the door. No. 8-Bit uh, and 5200 Games. Uh, uh, interviews with Eric Anschwitz, Robert Anschwitz, and John Weisgerber. Uh, they've been posting oh, no. their old games they made in Atari Basic and redoing them in uh, in uh, machine language, in assembly. So that's really cool. Uh, and then in sometime in December, we have the exclusive secret world premiere of Muddy Funster's new game. And also at some point, Matt Smith's, MK Smith's exclusive secret world premiere of his new game. And also in December at some point, we're going to be playing ZPH, the game. Yes, it's called ZPH, <laughs> not ZPH. <laughs> um, and since I named it, you have to call it ZP ZPH as well. You don't have to, but it would be rude not to. <laughs> yep. And we're going to do a giveaway of the game, cartridge giveaway. Um, so I better get that done and order it to get it in, in time here. All German names. Yep. Anschwitz, Weisgerber. Um, and I think those are all the big ones coming up. Oh, and uh, uh, also the holiday homebrew special, which is probably going to be on like the 23rd. I might as well put that into a slot. Uh, let's see. Oh, Friday the 24th. Actually, this gets pretty close. So we can do that the day before Christmas. That would be very cool. Zeta Pe Hatch game. <laughs> what uh, what language is that from? It would be uh, um, Spanish or Portuguese. Pe Hatch. Or I'm saying it in German as well. Any word on Casey's Gold? No, I haven't heard anything on that. No updates. Spanish. Spanish. Uh, no updates on that yet, so we'll just have to wait on that. Might be this year, might be next year. Um, and we're going to do a four-player special day. Mule and other four-player games. And two-player games as well. And we'll see who is the best. Sure. Overall. At everything. <laughs> Uh, the cats are the worst. <laughs> they don't even want to even pick up a joystick. They yeah. just... Uh, they might bite one or smack one. Or your game. If you dress it up My right. game? My game. What about my game? Oh, my game. No, that, nothing is happening with my game. Uh, I'm very busy. Uh, doing this show, which takes up a lot of my time. And working on uh, film projects, which takes up the rest of my time. I would love to do it, but, uh, you know, do you have... All these, you have a list of things you want to do, and you want to do them all yep. because they're on your list, whether yep. it's in your mind or on a piece of paper. Yep. And you can't do them all. <laughs> <laughs> and there's things you have to do, mm -hmm. um, like this, just just like just like Al. Yeah, he has a list of things he wants to do, and he has no time, just like me. And there's things you have to do, like eating <laughs> and sleeping. And I have to do this game. Oh, uh, this, sleeping. Come on. Uh, you can give up portions of that. <laughs> but then you have to make it up later. But I, I, I love to do the show. And I would not want to do a game as opposed to the show. I'd rather be doing the show than making my own game. Yeah. Because that could turn out terrible. And they'd be like, you made us wait half a year for this crap. <laughs> and you could have been entertaining us <laughs> with your show. That's what I expect. <laughs> Showering optional. True if you like living on your own and not having friends and stuff like that. <laughs> Unless you use perfume like the old days. You spray tons of perfume. Planned for at least 10 years now. What is? Al was making a game? I did not know that. Um, See, the, the best thing to do with showering is to have like a waterproof computer. <laughs> Just to always shower. You can be like showering while you're yeah, it's and on a timer. And you take it with you. I don't mean that it's in there all the time, oh. but that you yep, like. you could. You're like, okay, this this run the water long enough, and all the stink will be gone. You can and take can... like a waterproof tablet, or have like a touch screen on the wall of your shower, and be answering well, I can emails. tell you from ROVing, 
touch screens and water. Not so. No, good. it thinks that water drops our fingers. And <laughs> it's, Just... it's yeah. He planned to do one. Never going to happen. <laughs> yeah. That's, it's just, there's priorities and things take place. Like if he shut down the store for a year, people would be upset. More upset than if they got an awesome game. Because <laughs> all the other people's awesome games wouldn't come out. The uh, forums would rot <laughs> and fall apart and be overrun with spammers or, you know, stuff like that. Live, Live coding, coding streams. streams on After Dark. <laughs> other were, otherwise, otherwise known as How to Embarrass the great, James the, as, at His Terrible The Great Unsubscribe Advent. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Unsubscribed, unsubscribed. <laughs> um, but we do have 898 followers now on <clears> Twitch. <throat> that is quite a few. I would actually watch that. I would get a... a I'm not opposed to doing that, but I need to get my game to a level. You'd have to be so I good. Need help. If you were really fast at coding, it yep. could be un in interesting. But like me, I'd be like, okay, so I want to do this thing. <laughs> Look it up. Look it yeah. up. How do I do this thing? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and there's lots of people who do code. Like even like Atari games and people do live streams of them coding. So it is a thing. And they get help. And yeah, it's pretty cool. I would want to get to a certain point in my program before doing that because right now it's what you could do is do a live even have coding a event where you're like, okay, we're coding this thing, and <laughs> it's then eight hours you know, straight. Like, like people will like add code into the comment section. You'll paste it in and that's, put a comment that it's this person. And that's and, all that would happen for sure. <laughs> oh, comment that it's their their yeah. piece of code. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and then you realize. <laughs> It would turn out that you wouldn't be doing any coding because you'd be so busy adding. That's right. <laughs> a a time-lapse of a full game coding for ABBUC a couple of years ago. That's kind of cool. So it would be like zit, 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 zit. You'd see the game evolve on one screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be cool. You could really do that with, with uh, in a false way by having like the the backups. You know how you have the tiered backups? Oh, yeah. And you could go through those and show it all without the a super boring uh, someone's thinking mm. um yeah or whatever don erica did uh, a coding video yeah he, there's there's a number of people that do it it's it's kind of cool and you would learn too from watching them code but that won't happen right now um we'll see i don't even have a stable display it's pathetic it's not a good it's not good <laughs> i have a display well in the 2600 you have to code the screen so oh. it stays and draws properly oh yeah otherwise it just flips out and displays nothing or garbage or just a mess gotcha. um, like on other more advanced things or if you're encoding on a higher level language it's like well you, here's a stable display you start filling it in right yeah uh shader showdowns the demo scene oh i've not heard of that that's cool uh anyway that's enough blabbing um we now we're over two hours. <laughs> there you go. Someone made a comment about that. It might have been Potoko. Oh, that we're gonna go over two hours. That it was uh, yeah, wasting time to make the show last longer than two hours. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like those YouTube channels that make their videos ten minutes long because you can get more ads in. Yeah, yeah. If you have it at over ten minutes and you look at their length of their videos, it's like ten oh one. 10.05. Yeah. You know, they're just padding, padding, yeah, yeah. padding. So funny. Um, so thanks for hanging out with us today. Thrust, Al Nefer, Vitoko, RC70, Charles Whelan, uh, D-Train. Uh, oh, and Crossbow, thank you for feeding the cats. They're very, very happy about that last feeding. Uh, rendered Ghost. If they could understand names and like oh, they thank you process personally. those, then they would have you know uh, neurons that were the crossbow neuron. Now they'd like, probably That's like right. that. They'd guy. connect it. Yeah. They'd love you that much they'd more. Love you. They'd love you a little bit, a tiny bit more. <laughs> <laughs> Azure, uh, Metal Lunar Seven. Who else was chatting and not just lurking? And that's about it. Rocket League match videos repeat the game so you can't guess the outcome from the remaining time. Oh, so they, because you go, oh, there, it's a 10 minute game mm -hmm. and so-and-so is up by two points. 
I know they're going to win. Something like that. And we're at nine minutes. And there's no way they can score X points, you know. That's very smart. So they do... How do they... They repeat? just repeat... Oh, like the same game. Add... So the video is X length of time, no yeah. matter how long. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. So that maybe they just repeat it up to two hours, no matter what, no matter how long, and so you can't guess. Yeah, it's when they do a best of games. Okay, it took some hours to complete the game. It was five hundred minutes of coding in less than ten for Threeplex by Mat Matosima. I'm just gonna take a look at what that is. This the accelerated thing. Let's just quickly take a look at what this is. Well, this is kind of like jumping around. It's not really time. Time's not sped up. It's like, here's a frame for two seconds. Here's a frame for two seconds. Jumping through time. But is that how you... Do you make the levels like visually like that? Huh? Like, what was that? What is this page? This is a coding time. Oh, oh, this is. I don't know what. Uh, oh, he's running Altira, so this is an uh, Atari 8 bit mm -hmm. uh, system. Um, I, I don't know. He's programming in uh, assembly. Mm -hmm. um, that is an emulator there. So he's just showing what is going on the screen of em emulation as he's building the game. I'll just fast forward a bit. Oh, now he's got a title there. He's got some different colored blocks. Yeah, that's cool. 500 minutes in 8 minutes and 31 seconds. Yeah. But because if he accelerated it a different way, it would just be a blur. Like it would be... And you wouldn't be actually be able to see it. So it's a kind of smart doing it this way, where it just chops out time. Mm-hmm. Um, especially if he had, yeah, there's, there's a better way of viewing it. He's scrunched it down a bit now, but if he had fully that on the side and then programming on the right, you'd be able to see the full screen at all times. Anyway, that's cool. That's a way to time lapse it. So we will be back on Tuesday with possibly Prince of Persia, most likely. Uh, thank you, Dan saying it's a good show today it was fun we played some fun games so have a great weekend everyone and uh we will see you on tuesday okay bye, -bye. later <laughs>